hood and I'm like, you get a snack cake, you get a snack cake, you get a snack cake, you get a snack cake. I am here to answer that question racing through everyone's mind in the grocery store. What products are good and worth my money? I answer this by buying new and interesting products and then recording my in-depth review so that you will know what you are getting. All of this in an attempt to bring it to you full circle. Good evening YouTube, Full Sucker Review back here again with another review. This time I have a viewer's request. I am reviewing every single product by Mrs. Freshly. Hershey's Triple Chocolate Cakes. Uh, for nutritional information, please see either the Instagram post or the photos at the end of the video. I don't want to waste your time, so all the information will be at the end. I have the Reese's Peanut Butter Flavored Cupcakes. Oreo Mini Brownies. These are deluxe. Oatmeal Crams. Buddy Bars. Huh. Delicious Deals Swiss Rolls. This is going to be a long video. Mini Donuts Powdered Sugar. Glazed Honey Buns. I'm going to be a Type 2 by the end of this. And then I got Oreo Browning, Crunch Mini Donuts, and Frosted Mini Donuts. Glazed Honey Buns, individually wrapped, six. For every taste, we have the perfect snack. Moist, wholesome, and always delicious. Our snacks are prepared with you in mind. Every day we make a wide variety of products. Our bakers use only quality ingredients to make a delicious line of snack foods for you and your family to enjoy. Stack away quality taste variety with Mrs. Freshly's. This is made by Flower Foods. So if you've ever had, um... Uh... Flower Foods... Sunbeam? Sunbeam breads made by Flower Foods, I believe. Okay, this this just looks nasty. Let's see, you get six for a dollar. That's what, sixteen cents? Smells like a honey bun. Why do they put turmeric in here? It's surprisingly moist. Very soft. A little underdone. It's kind of a raw flower taste. Lightly sweet. Not a strong honey flavor, but it's decent. Yeah, typically a honey bun is really, really sweet. This is almost like a mild sweet. Yeah, this is like a super bland. This is like if you go to a senior center and you got a honey bun, this is what they give you because it's super bland. Um, I mean, price-wise, you're saving a lot of money. 74 out of 100, they can improve by making it more cinnamon, more nutmeg, sweeter, a, a more amount of glaze, a stronger honey flavor, cooking the uh, dough longer, adding vanilla to the dough. Uh, this just tastes underdone and not much thought put into it. Just, just a thought. I'm not going to buy this again. Little Debbie's worth the extra buck. Now we're going to try... Oreo Brownie. Made with Oreo cookie pieces. Two servings per container. Yeah, right. Oh, my word. It just looks like old, old brownie. Exceedingly caking. Very sweet. Pretty decent cocoa flavor. You get a little bit of that Oreo bitterness. It's a little fudgy there in the center. 
Mmm. It looks bad, but it tastes good. Now see, it says made with Oreo cookie pieces. It doesn't advertise cream. So I like how they're not trying to lie about that. I actually like the texture. I wish it was a little bit more chewy. This is like a fudgy cake. Now I wish the cocoa was a little bit darker. And maybe a little bit of salt. This is a great product. If you see one of these, pick it up. Um, 92 out of 100. A little bit more cocoa, a little bit darker, a little bit chewier, maybe using brown sugar instead of white sugar. Uh, vanilla and salt would help. I really like the texture that's going on here. This may just be because... Well, no, it's still, it's still in date, but it's getting dry. Mm. Very pleasant, though. Mini Crunch Donuts. Kind of a yellow cake color. They're actually crunchy. Mildly sweet coconut flavor. It has the crunchiness of sugar crystals. I wish that it had ground up uh, coconut flakes so that you'd get that nice chewy coconutness. But you get a nice natural coconut flavor and sweetness. This has just the right amount of sweetness for a mini cake donut. I wish it was just a little bit more moist. This is almost perfect texture wise. This is a good crunch donut. And I'm actually impressed. Um, 89 out of 100. Add toasted coconut flakes for more mouthfeel. Make it a little bit more moist. Slightest bit more vanilla. Toasted flavor. Increase the amount of crunch. Good product though. Frosted mini donuts. This is like the gas station staple. This is this is the go-to snack. I guess this would be the baseline judgment here. One of the densest donuts I've ever had. I actually get more cocoa flavor, more actual cocoa in this than I got in Hostess. It's not nearly as waxy and it doesn't coat the roof of your mouth as badly as Hostess. So quality wise, I actually think this is a better quality donut than Hostess. Don't get me wrong, the cake itself is very dry. It's almost chewy. But it has a good cake flavor. It's not vanilla, but it has that distinct cooked cake flavor, which I like. This is actually a very well constructed mini donut. I wish it was more moist. I wish it was softer, not so chewy. I wish the chocolate was more natural, not that fudgy wax I put on here. But nonetheless, this is actually a pretty decent fudge coating for a mini donut. Um, 86 out of 100. Stronger cocoa flavor, more natural chocolate, softer cake, more vanilla, less chewiness. Let's try the powdered mini sugar donuts. Just the right amount of sweetness. The uh, donut itself has a decent cake flavor. I wish it had more vanilla or really any vanilla at all. It's a little too dry. But this is a good powder donut. I mean, you get a cake flavor, you get powdered sugar, it's sweet. The powdered sugar helps with the dryness. Yeah, they just need to add more vanilla, make the cake less chewy, make it lighter and airier, and use vanilla. And this would be spot on. Um, 89 out of 100. Um, I would buy the between the two, I would buy this over um, Hostess or Little Debbie just because it's cheaper and you get the same amount of donuts and the quality's better. So, thing to keep in mind. Understand my scores, the numbers that I attribute to these products. 
may not align with their actual ranking because I grade products based off of what they're advertised as and the value that they deliver. However, what I would deem viable again is different from what I actually grade a product as. Like for example, I hate white chocolate. Nonetheless, I've graded some white chocolate products near on a hundred. Still, I'm not going to buy it. So, we'll get to the ranking. Let's move on to the Swiss Rolls. Cream Field Cakes. Chocolate flavored. I'm guessing that means it's not real chocolate. The cake melts with the cream. The cream and the cake melt together. The icing coating Yeah, it all melts together. I get just the slightest hint of chocolate. I don't get any vanilla in the cream. And I don't really get anything from the cake. This just tastes like sweet cake roll. This is a little disappointing, but you gotta understand you get what 12 eight eight cakes for a dollar? Yeah, I don't even see cocoa on here. I honestly don't know how they flavor this like chocolate. Oh, here it is. Um, if you like a sweet cake, but you don't care if it tastes like chocolate, this is good. This literally, the cake, the cream, and the frosting all mesh together. As soon as it hits your palate, it melts. It all melts together into just sweet cake. Maybe just a hint of cocoa at the end, but not really any chocolate flavor going on here. 68 out of 100. They can improve by making the cake darker and denser. It's very light and airy. And in a Swiss roll, because you have the cream adding so much moisture, you could actually use some more density with the cake. The cream itself needs vanilla. They need to cut back on the sugar and the glaze. It's way too soft. And increase the amount of cocoa. So it has a stronger chocolate flavor. Maybe add some salt. This is a pass. This is what I'm excited about. Buddy Bars. Cream filled wafers. Peanut butter product enlarged to show detail. Now I flipping love Nutty Buddies. So these things have got a high bar to meet. Look exactly like a Nutty Buddy. Main thing I'm looking for here is a good peanut butter flavor. Let's face it, I've never really had a uh, extremely strong chocolate flavored snack bar. These are not as crispy as a Nutty Buddy, but they're crunchier, they're harder. Like cereal. Decent chocolate flavor. It's a milk chocolate. It's smooth. Pretty creamy. I don't think you get as much peanut butter in these as you get in the Nutty Buddy. The peanut butter is not quite as sweet as a Nutty Buddy. Yeah, I would say this is 85% as good as a Nutty Buddy. Texture-wise, it's not as crispy, it's harder. Chocolate-wise, it's basically the same. There's not as much peanut butter, and the peanut butter is not as sweet, and it's not as strong of a peanut butter flavor. Eighty-four out of one hundred. They can improve by making sure that their peanut butter is more toasted, stronger flavor, a little bit sweeter, better maintaining the integrity of their wafers, maybe adding some vanilla to them. Now, I actually like the chocolate on these. They did a pretty good job there. This is a decent buy. If you're um, strapped for cash, this will make do. Oatmeal creams. Cream filled oatmeal cookies. Flippin' love oatmeal cream pies by Little Debbie. So again, a high bar to meet. I 
Uh, these don't even look like they have cream in them. That's the molasses and the cinnamon. I wish there was vanilla in the cream. I like the chewiness of the cookie. It's not quite as chewy as the Little Debbie's. Little Debbie's has a better texture. But these are soft, very moist. Great molasses cookie flavor. I wish there was a little bit more texture from the oat. It's a very soft, very, very soft cookie. Between this and Little Debbie, I'll go with Little Debbie. But this one has a stronger spice flavor than Little Debbie's oatmeal cream pies. But Little Debbie's has a better texture. 86 out of 100. These, this is a perf perfectly fine product to buy. Um, it's a softer cookie than Little Debbie's. Little Debbie's texture is better. Little Debbie's has more cream. Cream has the same flavor. These have a more gingerbread flavor, stronger spice. And maybe not quite as much of an oat texture. Still goodbye. Now the Oreo Mini Brownies. I'm thinking this is going to be the same as the Oreo Brownie I had before. But it came in a different box. And like I said, I was going to buy every single thing I could. Oh, you get three little brownies with cookies and cream. The big square brownie was much better. It had a stronger cocoa flavor and it tasted more like Oreo cookies. This is a lot sweeter. And it just tastes like generic cake. It still has a little bit of that fudgy texture but it's not quite as good. So the big square brownie is superior to this one when it comes to the Oreo brownies. Um, I would not buy this again. It's just tastes like sweet cake. I like the texture. I wish it was more fudgy. They just really need to up their cocoa flavor, make it more upfront, Dutch processed cocoa, add salt, cook it to where it's more fudgy, more chewy, use brown sugar instead of white sugar. 67 out of 100. This is a pass. Now, the Reese's peanut butter flavored cupcakes. Chocolate cupcake with peanut butter flavored icing and filling made with Reese's peanut butter. Uh, we'll see about that. It doesn't even look like chocolate. Oh my word, they're pretty. This is incredibly moist. Not the most cream filling. I don't taste any chocolate. The cream itself tastes like just sweetened sugar with a hint of peanut butter. You get a little bit of that cocoa bitterness at the end and that's it. I love the moistness of the cake. I love the texture. I love the amount of icing and the filling. Just the flavor is so bland. This is a huge letdown. 72 out of 100. The peanut butter flavor needs to be about 18 times stronger. The chocolate flavor needs to be about 18 times stronger. Texture wise, it's perfect. Consistency wise, it's perfect. It's just the flavors are lacking here. This is disappointing. So let's see if the Hershey's Triple chocolate cakes, chocolate flavored cream cakes, cakes with Hershey's cocoa is any better. Not too much cream filling. Okay, this is good. It has a good, sweet chocolate cake flavor. The chocolate coating is a lot like the glaze they put on the donuts, but it's thicker. It al it's almost like they actually mixed real chocolate into it. It's almost crispy. It's very nice. Cream filling adds more chocolatey flavor. It's not like a frosting. I wish it was more like a frosting. 
this is a good product. In fact, this is the winner today. Good Dutch processed cocoa flavor comes through. This is great. 94 out of 100. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment down below. And I'll go shopping at a ridiculous number of stores just so you don't have to. Honestly, only two of these products I will possibly buy again are these two, just so you know. But um, I appreciate your time. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below what I should do next. And y'all take care.